Amidst the dense Acadian forest, a geotechnical equipment company produces the most advanced deformation measuring and monitoring instrumentation in the world. It is a somewhat unlikely setting, but there is a lot about measuring and its history that is unlikely. Today, Mezrian is a leader in developing and manufacturing instrumentation for geotechnical deformation monitoring. But it wasn't always like this. Let's rewind things back. When we started, it was 1993. I had some uh, technology for fiber optic sensing I had developed uh, previously, so I started Measurand with the idea of making some sensors. It was a pretty vague notion. Early on, we were making fiber optic sensors for the motion capture industry. Uh, that worked really well, but uh, motion capture industry is a very difficult one. Uh, back in 2002, Measurand was invited to present their products at a conference in St. John's, Newfoundland. We didn't have products for the geotechnical industry, but we went anyway. Finally, get in touch with Tarek Abdoun. It was mostly uh, Dr. Abdoun who found some uh, R&D money to help us develop new sensors that were suitable for what he wanted to do. Anyway, I had to ask him, what do geotechnical engineers do? I had never heard of them before. I thought it was crazy that we would put fiber optic sensors in the ground, but uh, Tarek Abdoun kind of kept pushing for products. We went away from fiber optics into more traditional MEMS acceleration type sensors. That was the, the origin of the, the Shape Array product. Shape Array, like uh, almost all our products, is a collection of a whole bunch of sensors and uh, it's an instrumented flexure. So a flexure is a, uh, something like a garden hose. We're able to put that down into a borehole and have it uh, sense to amazing accuracy. I'm still impressed by what the sensors can do. You have to produce measurements that are accurate to sub-millimeter. That's the most amazing part, I think. In Minnesota, we had two shape arrays next to a four-lane highway measuring a slope down to a river. The shape arrays measured such an increase in the rate of movement that the Minnesota Department of Transportation decided they should close the highway and divert all traffic. That highway collapsed due to a landslide about 10 days later. It dropped three meters and would have posed a serious risk to public safety. It's uh, wonderful to be able to turn all of that together from the, including the technology and also have an important uh, safety aspect. When I started here, there was probably about 15 people that were working here and we didn't really have departments. People kind of had a lot of freedom and uh, could develop things on their own, which seemed like a good idea, but I always felt I should be doing more in terms of maybe directing them what to do. Then I read a book that says, no, 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 it's uh, people generally are pretty good at finding their own way and, and doing well. Measuring employees, I think, are people who are striving always to improve ourselves. We want to make sure that um, we're always providing the best quality product, and I think the people we hire have those qualities. We've moved somewhat more toward organization as, as we grow, but I think it's been really helpful to uh, remember some of the, the lessons from that book or, and from our experience. Measuring personifies this fantastic place to work and that really values their staff. So even if an uh, operator comes up with a better way of doing something I never thought of, that's fantastic and I want to implement that to make everybody happier. We do a lot of social events. We have uh, committees that um, focus on safety, improvement, anything that's brought up and you can put a suggestion in the suggestion box and someone's going to look at it and if it's something that we can do, we're going to do it. That's the kind of culture I've tried to create in, in Measure M. Well, it's been an interesting 25 years certainly. We're staged now for more growth going into the future. There is an element of chance in these things, like who knew that Dr. Abdoon would come along and push us into a, a better market. Uh, I actually have no idea where we're going next. I just can't wait to be told what we are going to be doing. <laughs> I want to make sure that uh, all the work I've done technically and, 
and that uh, I've had a lot of help with here in the company gets carried on and that we don't just uh, evolve to selling the same product and not bothering with any new uh, developments for the future. Who knows what the future holds for Mezrian, but one thing is certain, Mezrian will continue to grow and its products will continue to evolve.